Hello guys, Keep Right on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 150 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped some, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I looked on my channel analytics, 70% of you that have been watching the videos the past 28 days are not subscribing to the channel. Get subscribing, Blues fans. We're, we're aiming to get 4,000 subscribers as soon as we mean possible and then get to that 5k target. So yeah, massively appreciated. Subscribe and turn those post notifications on. Big up to everyone that does do that. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Birmingham City managerial situation. Now, of course, it came out yesterday that um, Birmingham City were um, entering talks with Alex Neil. Alex Neil, that's her Neil. Yep, I've got you. I've got you there. Um, and I've done, I've done a poll about half an hour ago um, as I've recorded. Does this signal a lack of ambition from Knighthead if we do appoint Alex Neil? Look, Knighthead, I am not. I am not calling them out or taking digs at them. You know, what they've done to the football club off the pitch has been absolutely brilliant. But on the pitch, it's a different, it's kind of a different ball game, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, we sat John Eustace, we brought in Wayne Rooney, and we brought in, and then we brought in Tony Mowbray, who got ill, and then we didn't um, appoint the guy around earlier, and then we, got, we ended up getting relegated, like... And Knighthead have had about four, well, this is going to be their fourth, hang on, is it their fourth appointment? Well, if you want to, if you want to count Gaia out in that, um, but in terms of like full-time managers, this is going to be their third manager that they're going to be appointed full-time already, and they've only been in, they haven't, they haven't been here, they haven't even been in it, been in, at the football club in a year, not even a, it's not even been a year. So, they have to get this appointment right, um, I don't want Alex Neal. I do not want Alex Neal at the football club. Yes, he's got a few promotions on his CV, but we have to be aiming higher. We have to be aiming higher. The owners have a vision for this football club. Yes, I know we're a League One club, I get that. And I get, you know, you can't really attract like top, top managers when you're in that division. But Liam Rossini, we should, we should be trying our hardest to get the likes of Liam Rossini. You know what? I would take Scott, per uh, Scott Parker over... Alex Neal. I would take Gary Rowett over Alex Neal. Alex Neal failed at Stoke, failed at Preston. Yes, he's got good win percentages at like, the likes of Norwich and Sunderland, but I mean, to be fair, he had like one of the, he had some of the best squads, you know, at his disposal at Norwich and Sunderland. Is he going to have it at Birmingham City Football Club? Who knows? Who knows what, what's going to happen in this transfer window? But Knighthead, like I said, have to get this appointment right. We can't keep affording. Knighthead can't keep affording to get. They keep getting the, the wrong appointments and then after a couple of months we sack them. There has to be a bit of stability. And that's why I regret being used to say, you know, he, you know, he would have brought us that stability that we needed. He would have kept us up last season. But instead, he ultimately ended up relegating us. There has to be, there has to be, um, you know, there has to, we have to have um, stability at the football club. Um, I... I <laughs> It's as simple as that, really. It's as simple as that. Um, and uh, appointing Alex Neal, I think, would be a very bad move. I mean, there's a lot of Blues fans that do not want this manager. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we don't appoint him. We've entered talks with him. Doesn't mean we're going to actually appoint him. I want Liam Rossini, to be fair. I think we should, like I said, I think we should try our hardest to get him or get Scott, maybe a Scott Parker-type manager. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, it's been Keep Watch on TV, make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get 150 likes. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, guys, keep watching.